Alright, so now I kind of know what's going on. Oh boy. This is going to be a tough fight. I have a feeling it's going to be tough. Man, really? Hey, don't shut the door this time. <laughs> okay, so we got to utilize these traps. It's going to suck, though, because I got to somehow get away from all these people. Or just get hit immediately. So, once we can... Like, we removed one of the guys. So, progress. <laughs> progress. But, I can't focus on one person because then I'm j I can't block anybody around me. It's making it difficult. Yeah, that axe swing in the pendulum is doing great. Love it. Well, I'm not doing good at all this time. on anybody. Get off them. Get, I got hit by the boss. Don't want to focus on anybody, but somehow I keep focusing on someone. That round was just terrible. And I lost my XP. Bitch, that hurt. Ugh. God dang it. You like doing worse now. Hmm. Can't really focus on one guy because there's just too much going on. And if I focus on one person, then I'm not able to block anybody around me. 
unless they're all in front of me. And I can't have multiple people hitting me because it'll suck all my stamina up and I can't block anybody. Try this. Nope, I guess we won't. We filled up. Turn him off? Oh, that didn't stop it. Oh my gosh. So where did that other guy come from? Is he summoning them? Is that the thing? Because if he's summoning them, I don't know how the hell am I going to do this fight. Because I can't block multiple people. And I can't just sit here and attack him every so often. I mean, I could turn off the axes. But I don't know where these people are coming from. I just don't know if he's summoning them. That's the problem. See how long this lasts. That's it. So if I do it here, I mean, theirs don't last forever. Good is dead. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I could turn the axes off, which is fine, but if this guy is somehow summoning them, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, because I cannot take three people on at once. I'm never gonna, I, all I can do is dodge everything, and then if I can do that, then I'm not going to be able to attack. The axe, getting rid of the axe might be the way to go. Bullshit. You missed every other time, and then this one. I, 
I can't do a thing. I don't know how to do this one. Um. Why don't you guys come and help? That's what you originally were gonna do. Not help, but go do it. Can't drink and uh, block at the same time either. So I think the whole thing of me don't wanting to uh, have the axes kill everybody is not working. I mean, I, I, I can't block this many people. I cannot block that many people. Know how to how to do this I mean I've gotten nowhere closer at all Focus on one guy. Yeah, another guy just, he came out, he just resurrected. Son of a bitch, get off that axe! Axes need to go off. <laughs> Number one thing, axes got to go off. But now we see he resurrects those people. Okay. I think we got this now. I think. 
Oh, all right, all right, all right. Why did you not block him? Why are you not blocking him? Oh, didn't I turn this thing off? Your God, get out of here. Huh. Is there anything in here? What? What? He's gonna end up killing me because he's bugged. Big bug in there. I don't have enough mana for that. All right. Yeah, the invisible dudes here.
All right, so please give me a safe spot so I don't have to deal with this again. So I don't think I'd have to deal with the boss again. God, I hope not. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, where does this go to? Oh, it's where that big bug is. Prison? That's where I need to go? see things down there. Thank you. God, there's two of them? Captain's log, 103093-0717. Status defeated. Cry system still barely working. No chance of waking the crew up. You? So I should get used to the idea I might be writing this for you, Ryan, or Petra, Jason, and Marco. Well, this is your captain speaking. If you're reading this, I'm dead. But you have made it. I don't know what date it is today, nor what you had to go through. But I know one thing. I had faith in you, and you've made me proud. All of you. Except for Marco. You're still an asshole. <laughs> Not just pulling your leg, man. Your mopping skills are vital for the mission. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to wake you up myself. And believe me, I have tried, and failed, and tried some more. I at least did my best to give you as much advantage as possible. I wrote this log, and in case my notepad dies, did a backup of separate notes in the terminals. Sloppy, but works. I've tweaked the force field, so it now makes you immortal almost everywhere. And I set up these terminals so you can get holographic reinforcement if you need it. And believe me, you will need it. You are far from being in the clear. So, quick briefing, story so far. After we landed on Wardenia, the Naboru were supposed to use the cradle for terraforming. But they misused it instead to create sentient beings, ratkins, and who knows what else. Our terraforming crew died in an explosion when trying to get the cradle back. The explosion woke up the ship's defense AI, 
and she woke me up right after. I got the cradle back from the Naboru, but when I reached the ship, well, Aida went full crazy. I really don't know why. Something must have happened. I tried to shut her off, but only managed to get your cryogenic units out, with no means to wake you up. Aida almost killed me back then. Fully focused on the mission, whatever the collateral is. You know how we joked she might replace us all one day? Well, that was the day. If I'm dead, she is probably still around. And if she has the means of getting in touch with you, she will probably try to trick you into getting her the cradle. Don't believe her. I'm sure once you give it to her, she will kill you without mercy and leave. Instead, you need to put the cradle in the container to stop her. I mean the official one, at the cradle chamber on the ship. That should deactivate Ida, since she won't be needed anymore, and let you take control of the ship once again. But I might be getting ahead of myself. You need to get the cradle first. As you probably know already from the rest of my notes, it's well hidden in the hollow statues. The core is in the monastery on the island, and the shell at the top of the Naboru Citadel. So I certainly hope they woke you up in peaceful times. But that tension between Naboru and Firkins couldn't have lasted long. I did what I could to even out their chances. So I presume they have settled things now, and you will just have to identify the local leaders. Find out who has access to the statues, get the cradle, and carry on with the mission. Godspeed. Over. To be clear, I am just leaving to try and persuade Aida to let us leave. All together, so I would be able to find a functional cryogenic unit and wake you up. I'm taking the Holocon deactivator with me. If I die there, it might in fact be the safest hiding place. If I come back, we'll leave this place. If I don't, well, somebody will find you, sooner or later. I did hide you well here, and the systems should be fully self-sustainable now. Anyway, I'll be back. No need to get all sentimental. Hey, salty. Nice. No, nope, this is the end. This is towards the end of the game, so I'm still playing the same one. But I believe I'm getting close to the end. But if I finish this one early tonight, we'll start destroy all humans. Oh dear God! Two of these. I'm able to get one of you. anyway. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess if he's gonna jump down. <laughs> 